hello everyone so i've been seeing that a lot of you don't really like the cartoonish effect that need for speed unbound has so i've decided to make a video on how to completely remove the effects but the bad news is that there's no official way to remove the effects on their own like there's no setting in the game through which you might be able to change or turn off these effects as such there is a workaround which you can follow by going to any garage in the game so you go to the garage and enter the garage then you go to the right and then style and then driving effects and then go to tags now all these effects are pretty insane so you won't be able to remove any of these and there's no option to remove the effects as such but this clogged effect is the one that is the minimalist in terms of all the other effects the only effect that you will get in this effect is the smoke effects and the trail the white trail that goes off the, uh, the car while you're driving so you have to equip it and this is the only way you can remove these effects or keep it to the minimal if you are playing on a console and i'll show you how these looks So this is how the unclogged effect looks. So it's not completely off, but yeah, you get the minimalist effect. Uh, this is how, this is the closest you can get to having no effects on the car. And now I'll show you another way which you can follow on PC to completely remove these effects uh, whatsoever. So let's dive in. So the other way to completely remove off need for speed and bounds cartoon effect is to install reset i'll add all the links down below in the descriptions for the files that you will need and you can follow along uh, first of all we are gonna download the reset and you need the version with the full add-on support so we're gonna do this or it will so a warning which would say that you might get banned in multiplayer games so use it at your own risk i would say but as long as you're not uh, adding any add-ons to cheat in the game i would say you should not get banned but you might not and you might so we're gonna click ok and you can download it wherever you want and the second file that we would we would need is Sega toggler um, I'll add the link to this as well in the description and the one you need depends on your windows or your game version so if you have a 32-bit windows or the game you may need to download the second one if you have a 64-bit game then you can download the first one mostly modern games are built on 64-bit architect so I would say it's safe to download the first one if you don't know which version you have can save it wherever you want as well and then first of all we are gonna install reset so you can just open ignore the warning and find need for speed unbound do not select the trial only select the one which is not a trial then click next select the second option microsoft directx 10 11 12 click next 
uh, you can completely ignore this so you can just skip here skip here as well and it's installed next you need to extract this folder open it and copy these this one file to your ins game installed directly so if you don't know how to get it on steam you can just go to steam library select your game go to the setting manage and then open through browse local files and this is your game all you need to do is copy this file into that folder and you you'll need one more file for this to work which is this seder toggler.ini i will provide a link to download this file as well and you can add this files to the same folder as well now i'll show you how it works in the game so once you're in the game you can press home to open the reset menu and you need to you can skip the tutorial and then go to add-ons uh, you can just skip this generic there and open the seder toggler so there are two options in general which one is the hard toggle which toggles your heart on and off i would not suggest you to use it because it also turn off your pause menu which is very irritating and the second one is the cartoon effects uh, so you can it's currently mapped to number one numpad one key which a lot of computer don't have so you can go to add it and in the in front of the key shortcut you can click on it and press any key you want to assign to it so let's just say u so you can press u and then ok and then ok and then you can close this you can press home to close this whole menu and then all you need to do is enter your game so once you are in the garage there is one more requirement for this to work and that is to go to style and make sure that in the driving effects you are actually equipping the clogged effect and nothing else because it will only work on the clogged effects other uh, it won't work on any on, uh, on any one of the it will only work on clogged effect it will not work on any another effect so make sure you uh, have the cloaked effect equipped in the garage and once you have it equipped you can basically go out into the world now i'll show you how it looks so currently i don't have the mode on so it's basically raw game so i'll show you how that looks first of all This is currently with effects on and you can basically toggle effects on off with whatever key you assigned in the reset menu so since i assigned you i can press you and to toggle it on and off so in order to illustrate that currently i have the effect on and the moment i press you it will be turned off and here we go now we have the effects off so you can clearly see there's no effect being applied to the car and if i press u again it will be turned on so here we go and u off so also once again so this is with effects on this is with effects off so here you go guys this is how you can completely remove the effects if you are playing on pc if you are playing on a console then i'm really sorry to say this but the only option you have is the cloaked effect which reduces all the effects except the smoke effect which you will get and that too you'll probably only get while you're drifting or doing a burnout so thank you for watching have a nice day